Okay, doing a little bit of, a little more related rates right here. So here we got a, um, a metal plate and we're putting it in the oven and uh, like most things when you heat them up, they expand unless it's like water or something. Uh, but basically here's our metal plate. I've just crudely drawn a little circle right here to represent that metal plate. And we've got the radius of it. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna give us the radius right here, um, at least the rate uh, that it increases as it's being heated up and it looks like it's about a hundredth of a centimeter uh, per minute. So let's go ahead and write this down here. Let's go. So basically the rate at which the radius increases. So that's actually a derivative, isn't it? That's dr dt. It's see, it's a rate at which the radius increases over time. See with the minutes there. Okay, so that's going to be. Per minute, so so we know that. Now let's also um, we're looking at at what rate is the area increasing at the moment the radius is 50 centimeters. So um, basically, what we're looking for is the derivative of area over time. Okay, and we don't really know that right now. Okay, so what are we going to do? Let's see here. Well. Um, First, let's uh, just uh, go back to our uh, area of a circle, okay? So area of a circle, you know, is pi r squared, okay? So if we want to take the derivative of this, if we want dA over dt, um, we're going to go ahead and take the derivative, so that'll be 2 pi r, okay? But, but our variable here was r. Okay, we're looking at a uh, variable over time, so we're going to throw in dr dt right there, okay? Um, now, let's go back to the problem. We're interested in the uh, moment that 50 centimeters um, is going on, so let's go back here and we'll sub in 50 for r and dr that's worth 100 right so let's go ahead and let's actually just see r is going to be 50 so 2 times 50 well that's just 100 so we get 100 pi times dr dt okay dr dt was 100 so let's just um Actually, we can just multiply by that by 100, okay, and that equals 100 pi over 100, okay. See how I did that? All we did was plug everything in here, so um, actually let me use a different color right here. Okay, so this down here was really just 2 pi times 50 times 0 0.01, okay, and that's just you know, that's what I did right there. So, of course, you see that this actually cancels out pretty nicely. And it's kind of a conceptual problem, but um, the radius increases at pi centimeters per minute. So, not too bad, right? Let's just walk through it again, okay? We just basically, um, they gave us the uh, derivative of the radius and they asked us to use that to find the derivative of area. So they wanted to find out the rate at which this thing changed. We just uh, you, we used implicit differentiation on the you know good old area formula and you know didn't turn out to be that bad, right? Thanks for watching and we'll do another one here, okay?